Let's see if this actually works. For some reason, I decided that I would complicate my life in the name of possibly better quality. So instead of using my phone, which is what I have been using to do these, I'm now using an actual camera and uh, my computer. And I feel like it's a situation where if I literally touch anything, it's going to stop working. So if the whole screen goes black, the stream stops, whatever happens here, just know that I was doing my best and I tried. But I want to welcome you all into the stream today. We're getting a set ready for the Brickitech store. I've got a whole bunch of them inside this box here. And I just picked one at random that needs to get sold. And we're going to go through it here today. This is Lego Star Wars set 75194. It is the first order TIE Fighter Micro Fighter. Easy for me to say. And inside here, supposedly, I can already tell we've, we've got a hair, which is a, a nice little bonus. Anytime you get a yard sale set, a hair in the package, double win. But hopefully we have all the pieces from this. As you can see, hopefully, uh, it's partially built. We could just finish building. In fact, like there's, there's most of it. But my main thing here is I just want to make sure all the pieces are there. Maybe I will build it. Hey, wouldn't that be the most fun way to make sure that they're all here? Is to build this up? Let's do that. That way when I take my photo, I'll, I'll know. I think that'd be cool. Hey, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. Let's make sure this guy's head's right. Everything's good there. How's everything looking and sounding? Are we all good here? I think we should. I'm, I'm a little loud, so I'm going to be... I'm going to go a little bit quieter, but here's our first guy. I can't even see if he's in focus. Oh my god. Is he ever in focus? TIE Fighter Pilot, looking stupendous. We got uh, Chewbacca here as well. He's not in this manual, but we got Chewbacca in the house. Check him out, looking good. All right, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna kind of do this the long way. We're gonna break this all down and then I'm gonna build it up. And by the end of this stream, assuming all of my technical stuff works out here, we're gonna have a fully built first order TIE Fighter. Is this, is there two sets in here? Oh, yeah. Dude, okay. It's a micro fight. I was just thinking it was this. I was like, what's Chewbacca doing here? This is two separate sets. So we'll build both of these up. S two separate set numbers. And she was selling this. If I would have bought this by itself, it would have been $5. So that's pretty darn cool. I, I paid like 30 for all of the sets in that box. There's extreme heat in there. Welcome. Hi from the UK. Well, thank you for tuning in from the UK. Appreciate you stopping by. Everything's good with you guys. I've been good. I've been editing like a madman. I'm doing this thing called No Zero Days where I'm recording like uh, things throughout the week of what I'm up to. And that's been keeping me busy. So I'm, I'm finding myself kind of getting out of the video hole, but also digging myself in. But that's okay because it's what I love to do. And in the meantime, I'm trying to do this Lego thing. I'm trying to get the Brickitech store going. I only have five items in the store and there's nothing in there that I, I don't think is lighting people on fire. So hopefully there's somebody out there that wants to buy this. I'm gonna put it up for a reasonable price because I don't necessarily need it, but I better sell it before Clark Man comes home and sees Chewy in here and stuff. I do think we have that minifig already. So this is pretty cool. It, it's two separate sets. When I looked in, I just saw this on top and I was like, oh, cool. We'll, We'll do this one. And now it's, we got two to do. So right now I'm just breaking all the parts down. Micro fighters are pretty cool though. This is what I had dreamed of them doing. I'm getting a phone call. Uh, oh, it's my guy that's pressure washing the house this weekend. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ignore his call for the time being. Yeah, we're getting our house pressure washed this weekend. So uh, that'll be interesting. I had like, I called like three different places or like four different places. And then one guy came out to look at it and I really liked him. He seemed really decent. And then another guy called me back eventually and then he like had all these excuses and he's like, oh, I just looked at your house on, on Google maps and here's what my quote's going to be. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go with the other guy. So that's ultimately what I ended up doing. Went with the one guy that like showed up and was respectful. It's so hard though. Like I'm, I'm sure not many of you people actually are homeowners. Maybe your parents are, but it's very hard to get people to actually do things for you at your place. It just seems like there's a lack of uh, people in the skilled trades, particularly ones that have like a good sense of business. I was just, I think every time that I go to do something like this, I was like, man, if I just learn how to like get really good at something, whatever that thing is, I could be the best 
Like if you're just proficient at the thing you do, but you're really good at talking to people and communicating and like just showing up and like calling people back and being courteous, that's like half the battle. You can get over so much just by doing that. That's what I should do. I got to figure out something I'm passionate about and then go to it. One thing I'm passionate about, taking another Lego hair, another hair out of my Lego set, gross. Put that over there with the non-Lego. That'll be in the non-Lego lot if anyone wants to buy it. Hey, good afternoon, welcome. All right, I'm gonna separate this into colors just to make my life easier. Helps with my, my brain, the way it works. We got two separate sets in here that we're building from, so we're hoping that they're both in here. If they are, I guess I'll list these separately. This will be nice because I'll be able to get two listings onto the store today. And then I'm just going to try to keep growing it. Obviously, eventually I'm probably going to run out of things to sell, but then hopefully by then yard sale season comes back around again. Uh, but what I'm going to do anytime I buy a set, unless it's something that I'm going to keep on display, I'm going to put it up for sale as a used set on my store and then just keep recycling, I guess. That was a big part of Apple's message today. I watched the Apple keynote or whatever it was for the new iPhone, which I'm like kind of tempted by. And they were talking about recycling and trying to be carbon neutral. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of want my Lego stuff to be uh, collection neutral. I don't want to add too much more stuff in. I just want to like enjoy the process. I like to find deals. That's fun. I like building Lego sets. I like sharing that experience like this. I like making videos about that experience. But then after that, I just... I kind of just don't want to have to hold on to it forever and have it be a part of my life because I'm already maxed out. Uh, I don't ship to the UK on eBay. I thought more about that and it's like, there's no reason for anyone from the UK to buy any Lego stuff from me. Anything that I'm going to be selling, and I, I can say this with almost 100% certainty, anything that I'll be selling, you could find cheaper near you, in your own country. So that's what I would recommend doing. If you're looking for, like if you really want this set, it's going to cost you more for shipping to get it from me than it would just to be to buy it somewhere nearby. So I just shipped to the US only. I could add more, but I, I just don't think that's gonna be in demand. We got one white piece here, a couple more dark grays. Speaking of Star Wars, anybody watching Ahsoka? We just caught up with that last night. And I have to say, it's pretty cool, but I really wish I had watched Star Wars Rebels prior to going into it because I'm kind of lost, man. All the uh, like Ezra talk and stuff, like I knew who that is. Where'd I set my drink down at? Oh, it's right here behind my computer. All the Ezra talk and uh, I guess there's a lot of things that if you had watched Rebels, you would know more about. So I kind of wish I would have done that. I'm on the very end of my peach iced tea. I found this new iced tea that I love making. It's, it's incredible. All right, which one shall we build first? I guess we'll build this one first, just in case you run out of time, then I'll build the other one on my own time. This is 75194. This is the first order TIE Fighter Micro Fighter. We already have the minifig, already checked off. Let's build this baby up. This shouldn't take too much time. How's the audio and video looking to everybody? Is it, is it good? Everything looking okay? Ray, welcome, man. Uh, Prince says he's been loving it. I agree. If you didn't watch Rebels, it'd be hard to follow. It's still good. I know um, I didn't really watch Clone Wars either. That's something that I feel like Clark and I need to go back and watch. I think we would really enjoy it. Right now, we're, we have two episodes of One Piece left. And I think the new Ahsoka came out today. So we, we got up to episode four, which if you're watching Ahsoka, make sure you have an episode to watch after episode four because it's like a massive cliffhanger. So I want to watch Clone Wars. I want to watch Rebels. I don't know what order to watch those in. But I think Clark and I would enjoy going through all those. And then I'm going to end up wanting to get all the Lego sets. <laughs> I remember, uh, I know they just did the Phantom and Ghost. I remember seeing that at Walmart way back in the day. I think it was like 2017. And that thing went up in value like crazy. I wish I would have bought it. But I don't know these days, like now that they have a new one out, is that old one still as valuable as it was? Because if it is, that's pretty cool. If not, that's, that sucks as a, like an investor. You would have lost all of your, your earnings on that, unfortunately. 
Oh, yeah, I, for my iced tea, I make my own iced tea. It's pretty simple. It's kind of high in sugar because I like it nice and sweet. I guess you'd probably consider it a sweet tea, but I do. It's uh, Celestial Seasonings or something like that. Celestial something. Celestial Tea. Uh, it's their country peach. And then I make a gallon of that with about a cup of sugar in there. So some of you peeps that don't like the calories or sugar, that might be a lot but it makes it taste pretty baller, and that's what I like. And I feel like even with a high sugar content in that, as like a special drink, say like when you're doing live streams or whatever and you want to have a little something to sip on, it's not as bad as drinking a soda, I wouldn't say. So not too bad. Oh, the episode's not coming out until tonight. They want me to put ads in this. I'm going to do that once. Let's see what happens. Tell me what happens in the next second on this. I insert an ad. It says ads inserted. What does that even do? YouTube's pestering uh, a creators about ads, if you didn't know, guys. I got an email that said later this year, they're pushing towards trying to put mandatory ads in YouTube videos, or in live streams even. So we'll have to see how that turns out. If uh, an ad just plays, like it tells me, like, hey, stop talking because they're watching an ad. Or if it just plays randomly, I don't know, but it would kind of suck to be watching a live stream that you're, like, into and then an ad plays. So I'm, I'm just doing an experiment to see what happens. Did an ad play? And if so, how long was it? Was it skippable? I don't think that's something that I really want to do. No offense, YouTube, but for those reasons, I'm out. Okay, which, ooh, which one is this? Is this the one with the hole in it? Hmm. Oh, another ad, two ads in a row. It interrupts what you're doing though, I would assume. Do you think this is, you think this is the stud with the hole in the top? I want to make sure I have this right. I think it must be. Yeah, it has to be. Hard to tell with those. All right, let's go put another one of those on. If you're just tuning in, I'm building this set in order to sell it, which sounds kind of weird. Uh, we love Clone Wars. Starts off more aimed towards children, but the last couple of seasons are pretty intense. I know they came back and did like the, like the final season, right? Don't spoil. I'm getting Disney Plus. I will not spoil anything. I can promise you that. I won't spoil any shows, because I know what it's like to kind of be behind the times when you're, when you're watching things. So, no one else spoil anything for anyone. I'm just the only thing I'll say is if you're gonna watch episode four, make sure you have episode five queued up because you're gonna to want to have time to watch the next one. I don't think that's a spoiler. Oh, we're back. It ad played right when I pushed the button. So you missed everything that I just said. That really that sucks. If they start making that a thing, that really sucks, dude. That really takes away from the experience. I don't I think Twitch might do that. I think it's when like a creator, like if you're on Twitch and you know, people game for hours on end, if you need to take like a bathroom break or whatever, you can throw an ad on when you leave, but that kind of sucks. Not going to lie. I don't think I like it. But YouTube's like, they, like right when I start my stream, they're like, now would be a great time to insert an ad. I'm like, do you think so? You really do? You think when like people are just sitting down to tune into a live stream, they want to watch an ad, which I think is why Twitch, I'm sure some of you guys probably don't follow the world of live streaming, but Twitch is kind of struggling right now for that reason. They are getting a little crazy with ads and there's this new upstart that's coming through called Kick. That's kind of like a Twitch clone, but is owned by Stake, who is a gambling site and they're kind of t stealing Twitch's thunder a little bit. So that's a thing. TK says a couple weeks ago, the ads we were getting on YouTube were over a half hour long, sometimes over an hour. Please tell me they were, yeah, it says they were able to be skipped. I would, I would hope so. I wonder how much money the advertiser would have made. Say you fell in asleep and that ad played for an hour. What do you think they would have paid for an hour long ad? That's like, that's not an ad. That's an infomercial, dude. Yeah. YouTube premium is one of the best investments. Brick Studios is glad I have YouTube premium. I use YouTube a lot, like a lot, as you could probably guess. And I have YouTube Premium, which is a... And you know what's interesting? We lost viewers too during that ad thing. People are like, heck no. So that's what happens when you roll ads. We, we all know now. No, now. No, 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 no. That's what happens. 
but I use YouTube Premium and I really love it. Uh, you guys will have to tell me, I can't remember if this was a feature before or after I got YouTube Premium, but if you're watching on like a mobile device, like a phone or a tablet, if for those of you that don't have YouTube Premium, which I think is the vast majority of the population because not many people subscribe to YouTube Premium. YouTube is a place where people expect things for free and that's understandable and everything should be free. Uh, can you like turn off your phone, like turn the screen off and still watch YouTube for those of you that don't have YouTube Premium? Can you do that? Because that's one of my favorite things. Like I'll put a, a video on, but then I'll just have my phone off, like say before I go to sleep. And then I'll just kind of let that roll. Is that, a, is that something you can do without YouTube Premium? I can't remember. It's been, we've had it for so long. And it's kind of expensive because I have the family plan. But again, in terms of usage, I would say that's our most used streaming platform is YouTube. Plus, I mean, it's where I get my income from. So I just look at it like, hey, I'm just kind of giving it back to my employer, essentially. Giving them some of their money back. Oh, you can't do that. See, that's one of my favorite features. Like if I'm, like my buddy Ronnie does a podcast and I listen to it on YouTube. And like, say I'm out, say I'm working out or whatever. I don't have to have the phone like on and open in my pocket playing the playing the video, I can just like press the button to turn my phone off, not off, off, but the screen off. And then I can just have that in my pocket playing the audio. So it works very much like the podcasting app. Why doesn't YouTube allow you to do that without having YouTube premium? Because they want money. That is the reason. Money, it, like that, that's a feature that could be instituted very easily for anyone, right? I can understand like the ad thing, but why not do that? Money. So, yeah, that's one of the things. I was able to one time, but it was a glitch. They thought you had YouTube Premium for a second. They're like, ah, got us. This set so far is going together pretty decent. I'll say that the lady I bought this from, I knew her. I think she was in my second grade class. But I didn't really see her, know much of her after that. And it's so weird to see people that you went to school with all grown up. I am missing. There it is. But she had a kid of her own who was like Clark's age, so it was kind of weird. But the husband was like super into Star Wars, and I just felt like a connection with these people right from the get-go. And then uh, she talked about how she went ahead and, during COVID, she bagged up all these sets because she had nothing else to do. So she put all the pieces where they should be and all that. And then I guess, you know, they're just selling them because they didn't have any use for them. So I was like, okay. And I started looking at miscellaneous sets that I was possibly interested in buying. And after a while, like it got to be quite a few. And then my father-in-law stepped in. He's like, well, how, what would you want to do if, if we bought them all or whatever? And she's, she was seemingly into that. So I, I think that's, that's what happened. So long ago though, I brought these home and kind of put it with my yard sale stuff, which I still have a bunch of things to list, but we'll get there. This is pretty much all I'm going to be doing throughout the winter. Now that all the fun times are over, this is going to be my, my thing. Making Lego stuff, making Lego videos, doing Lego live streams, listing Lego stuff for sale, building Lego stuff. I think that sounds like a pretty good use of my time. I've been wanting to play some games too. I'm trying to find time to do that. Clark and I have been playing a game called It Takes Two. And it's so much fun. If you have like a person to play games with, it's on Game Pass which is another subscription that is very much worth your money. And we've been having so much fun going through this game. It's a lot of cooperative things. It's like a platformer, but you have to work together to help each other out to get through things. And it's just such a fun thing to play. So we've been doing a lot of that. And I played Starfield for one day. I'm going to back my audio down. I know that's looking a little hot. Let's back this down a little bit. Is that coming in a little high for you guys? Is that better if I bring it down? I see it's like peaking here. It's very sensitive, the microphone there. Hey Chris, welcome man. So Clark, I've been playing that. I've been wanting to play Starfield. I got one, one day in. I basically did like the intro thing. And then that was, that was about it. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to invest a ton of time into that game because I think about time in a way that it's like, 
Okay, I could play Starfield, which is fun. But then I could also be making Lego stuff and listing Lego stuff, which is kind of more of a priority, I suppose. Sounds fine. Does it sound better now? <laughs> I'm getting like this new system figured out. I wish I could show you what you look like. I guess I could. Let me try something once here. Where's my phone? Hmm. My phone is, is, has disappeared. What about my iPad? I could show you on my iPad, maybe. Hold on. We could do something really cool here, maybe. I could show you what the setup looks like using the camera on the iPad. Let me flip this around. This is kind of wacky. There's a front-facing camera on this. There we go. I never use my iPad. Look at this. That's the setup. You guys are in there. And then you're watching this. And then I, I am I was just using my phone, but I was like, you know, I've got this really good equipment. Why am I why am I doing this? What the heck am I doing? So today's just kind of an experiment. So far, so good. Seems like everything's working out just fine. This goes on this side. These things are kind of wacky. If you've never seen these micro fighters, they're like almost like Mario Karts of sorts. Do I ship to Canada? No, just US only at this point. Again, with the shipping cost, anything that I have to sell, you're better off just buying from the country you live in. Because the shipping is going to kill whatever it is that I'm selling. And it, it's not like this is a rarity or anything. But we got this one done. And this guy, I don't know if he sits up here or if he stands. Let's see. I guess he sits. There it is. Our first set built. Let me see. The only problem is I don't have a flip out screen. Oh, I can't. I do. I do. Oh, I won't be able to see it. Sugar Shack. What do you think? Right there is where it looks just so creamy. So beautiful. First order TIE Fighter Micro Fighter. I don't know what's going to be selling for, but it'll be on my store. That's number one. Here's all the other sets you could get from this line. I love that. We called that the Gorilla Walker, I think. Something like that. I forget what Clark and I called it. It's been so long. This is from years ago. I have this set. I've never built it. It's in the backlog. <laughs> it moved in the backlog and is in like the permanent backlog. Here's some more. There's Grievous, which is pretty cool. Built that one. We have that. That's in one of the ones that we're selling, I think. I already own it though. Yeah, lots of Lego, lots of Lego. There's Carl Wren, as he's known in some circles. Carl. Do we have time to do one more? Do the Millennium Falcon micro fighter with Chewy. I have a couple copies of this, I feel like. Okay, let's let's see. Oh, Ray's heading out. Thanks for stopping in, Ray, man. Let's do this one. These pieces should be over here. It's kind of triggering me. And those browns should be there. I kind of like kind of like that but so far so good the lady's true to her word all of the pieces were there for the first set lots of hair in these these which is not fun but we got everything so we're going to do this one next the millennium falcon build this up for chewy and then i'll list both of these here after the stream so if anybody wants one it'll be there for you you have time all right all right you have time i have time Trying to, what are we at? 20, 20 minutes. Not bad. I have a few other things that I'm trying to accomplish today, but we can get this done. I feel bad because I have the store going and it's like, there's hardly anything in there. You got to put some stuff in there. Where's that piece that I need? Oh, it's not showing yet. I, I pulled that piece off and I should have just left it in. But that's back when I was trying to just inventory it. Now I'm trying to build it. This is where that one white two by four brick goes. Davis is lo lo loving what you're doing, proud of you. Thanks, man. There's not much more you could say to somebody that's a nicer thing than I'm proud of you. If you ever have somebody in your life that you could ever find an opportunity to say that to, that's a very sweet thing to say. I appreciate that. I'm just enjoying this hobby. My big thing is Ideally, I just want to get all my parts inventoried in here. Like, get this stuff sold off, get my parts inventoried. And I think that'll put me in a really nice spot to do, like, the next chapter of what I want to do with LEGO, which is just to be creative with it and make cool stuff. Share what I'm up to. And just kind of document it each day as to what I'm, what I'm doing. 
And I love the idea of mixing it with like videos and live streams. I know live streams aren't most people's cups of tea, especially on YouTube. But I feel like it's a nice way to connect with, for me to connect with the people that watch my videos because it's, you can only say so much in a YouTube comment. But also as a viewer, I think it's kind of cool. Like if you watch somebody, it's cool to be there, particularly if you can get there in real time when they're streaming it. And you can just kind of hang out and be a part of the conversation or just tune in while you're doing something else or doing homework, riding the bus, in math class. School's out now on the East Coast, at least. Some people in the West, they are still in, though. What are you guys doing right now? Are you multitasking or is this like your thing right now? I'm curious to find out. This thing, though, this is, this build's going quickly. This is like, a, this is, the, it's the opposite of a UCS micro fighter or a UCS Millennium Falcon. It's the mini CS, the ultimate collector series. This is the anti collector series, the smallest one you could build. Janelle likes live streams. Yeah, they're fun. I always say it. I mean, if we're going to do this, we might as well. Might as well hang out and do it. Uh, Mark says, it's great you call it a hobby when it's actually a big part of your work. Yeah, where do you draw the line at, though, Mark? I, I don't know. Like, I always ask Clark, I'm like, does, does this count as work? Because it's, like, usually when you talk about work, it's something that you don't enjoy, right? Like, work is an obligation. But if you can make some money doing something you enjoy, is it still work? I think it's a struggle of some people once they take that thing from a hobby. Like, say you're a, say you love playing video games, for example. That's your thing. And then you become a successful Fortnite player, let's just say. We'll use Ninja as an example. And he becomes really successful at it. And that hobby that he loves so much becomes his job where now he was, you know, he's playing Fortnite a lot before, but now he feels like maybe the pressure to play it even more, or maybe he just keeps enjoying it. At what point, though, is it like, I, I just don't want to play Fortnite anymore, or I don't want to play Fortnite today, but it's like, well, it's your job. You have to tune in, or you have to, you have to show up Monday through Friday and play Fortnite now, because this is what you do, and you've got sponsors and all this stuff. Does it then, is it no longer a hobby at that point? Or does something no longer be a hobby when you start getting paid for it? Are you then a professional? I don't consider myself a professional anything. I just follow what I like to do and I do that thing. And that's nice that some people enjoy following that. That's pretty cool. I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. I'm just thankful. And I feel like, you know, I've been given this opportunity and I, I need to take advantage of it, right? Because it's like, this is a really cool thing. Chris says, uh, enjoy my actual job. It's the office nonsense that drive me nuts. Yeah, I much prefer working alone than with other people. The office stuff sometimes gets to be a little much, right? Mark says he just got back from the gym watching while uh, packing eBay orders. That's cool. I'm putting parts in drawers and then off to my BrickLink store. We got a couple BrickLink peeps here and eBay peeps. That's cool. Building a micro, Building a micro Lego set. Well, hey, that's pretty cool too. We're kind of on the same path here. Janelle says her grandson's getting home. Janelle is, uh, is proof that we have a whole wide variety of peeps watching, too. Love working on computer hardware. That's cool. Eggstreams here. He says, just bought the new N1 Starfighter with some Kohl's cash. Nice. I haven't been to Kohl's in a bit. They don't really uh, tailor to my style of collecting, which is to find things on the cheap. But Kohl's cash, man, if you can start stacking that up, you can really make out like a bandit there. So that's pretty cool that you're able to do that. Let me make sure I have these pieces in here. I don't want to end this and not have this done. That's all looking good to me. My biggest fear is selling something to someone on eBay, particularly in the Lego space here, and have it not be complete. That would really be um, devastating for me. So I got to be careful, get distracted. I do think it's important though. And I think um, Mark says it here. It says, if you enjoy what you do, it doesn't matter how you call it, but calling it a hobby gives it a more positive vibe. Yeah, no one, no one has a hobby that they don't like, right? If, it, if that was the case, you just wouldn't do it. 
I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool. Like, I, I couldn't imagine. There was, like, when I was a kid, I always thought, you know, the coolest job in the world would be being a Lego designer. I always thought that would be, like, the ultimate. But I don't know. That was before being a Lego YouTuber became a thing, I guess. And I imagine these days pretty much every kid in the world wants to be a, I, I think it's one of the most popular things, not necessarily to be a Lego YouTuber, but to be an influencer, if you want to call it that, which is sometimes not the greatest term for people. But I think that's what a lot of kids want to be these days, as opposed to like police officers or uh, firemen or whatever. They all want to be content creators, which is, I don't blame them. It's a cool thing. But it does take a lot of dedication too, like to do something like this. It doesn't just happen overnight. You have to put the time and dedication into it. You have to, I would say you have to be somewhat passionate about it if you're going to make it happen because if most people are going to quit doing this way before they get to the point where it actually becomes a thing because it is an incredible amount of work. And it's a lot of work that you see without really any results for a long time. And then maybe someday you get lucky and something starts happening. But the average person will, will stop way before that happens. But if you stay consistent at it, I, I believe that you, people can do things that, that they don't think they can do. Just if you show up and you stay consistent at something, that's half the battle. What would I do if I was on Lego Masters? I'd get voted off the first episode. Oh my gosh, I'd be so nervous to be on that show. I'm definitely not at the level, anywhere near the level of all those amazing people on that show. I couldn't, I couldn't compete if I wanted to. <laughs> so yeah, I would be, I'd be destroyed on that show. I love watching it though, and I heard it's coming back, right? Like it starts here pretty soon. That's one show that as a family we just love to watch together, and Clark Man always comes away from that inspired. Like every time we finish a show, he's like running down to go build something. So that's one thing I like. Oh, I, I need one of those. I need a, uh, hmm, her. That needs to be one that's like has the hole in the top. Because otherwise that's not going to work. Okay, let me, let me swap that out. Unless I put the wrong one on this one, but I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Either way, I'm missing one. Does anyone know if the back of this is supposed to have those, let me focus, supposed to have those holes in it? Because I need one like that, one of those studs. I have tons of them, so it's okay. At least I think so. I should have some of those in here. Finding a, a gray stud with a hole in it. Look at all these extras. It's, it's out of hand. Just got to find one with a hole in it. Watch me not have, there it is, there's one right there. Okay, crisis averted. The lady lied to me, obviously. I'm very upset. But that goes like that, actually. That goes like that. And then that goes like that. And we've got some extra pieces here. I gotta figure out what my plan is for these. You guys want to see what this looks like? Let me let me finish it up with Chewy. This comes with two of these, and then we've got like some extra pieces here. Oh, oh, these go on here. We don't have extra pieces. I thought we did. She did a great job, actually. We got two of those left, and then we'll put Chewy inside here, and I think we're good. The question is. Does this come with two extras? I don't know. I can't even move the camera now. I was going to bring you guys down to show this. Sugar Shack. Check this out, guys. Look at our setup here. Hopefully it's in focus. I can't see anything right now. But they, they turned out. Mark says, uh, we grew up in a world without internet, so YouTubers didn't exist. Personally, my dream job was to be a Lego designer or a vet. Being a vet would be cool, other than the fact that you'd have to do surgery on pets. I'd rather be like a dog walker. <laughs> I know it doesn't make nearly as much money as a as a vet, but being a, a dog walker would be like my dream job, I think. Other things that I would want to do, I, I have like this, and I, I know it wouldn't be as fun in, in reality as it sounds, but I want to be like a over-the-road truck driver. And I want to make videos of all the places I travel to and like truck stops, 
crazy drivers on the road, food that I tried. I want to do all of that stuff. I think that'd be really cool. So if I ever fall off as a YouTuber, I'm going to become a truck driver. And then I'm going to drive all around the United States hauling stuff and making videos. So I'll be a YouTuber anyway. <laughs> I can't think of anything that I would do where I wouldn't be making videos doing that thing. Oh, mom's home. I should let her know I'm live streaming. Anyway, I should probably go, I guess. Okay? So there is, there's our two guys. If anybody is interested in buying these, they'll be on eBay in just a few minutes. So you can be the first person to bid. I'm going to do a buy it now. I'm going to put a reasonable price on them. And... They should be out the door. So I guess on that, did I catch everything here? I appreciate, David, thank you for the kind words, man. I appreciate that. But I am going to roll out here. I'm going to try to go live here a little bit each day, just kind of working on random stuff like this. We'll try piecing a whole bunch of these sets together because we still have a whole box. So we'll do that. Hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day.